Hello guys, my name is Kiki and in this video I am trying to repair a really strange failure with a, with a switch. So as you can see here, looks like it works perfectly. It's charging perfectly in both directions, let me show you. But there is a strange issue, look at this. If I connect the charger, it shows up, it's charging, but it's not, not charging the Joy-Cons. Joy-Cons are working perfectly, both of them, but it's not charging. I can also flip the cable around, still charging on the console, but not the controller. Controllers are working fine. I already took this apart, but I thought I would show this to you. One additional thing is that the fan is not coming on. This is a really, really strange failure. And uh, I thought I, I, I want to uh, fault find this together with you to show this interesting failure. So let me show you one thing. I will just now remove the charging cable. Also remove the battery. Battery connector. And remove the fan. It's interesting to know that the fan connector is in connection with the with the charging of the joy cons look at this now i what i did i disconnected the fan i will connect the battery back and i will turn it on just for a short time because i already removed the, the heatsink look at this coming on, controllers are being recognized and let me plug in the charger now and look at this both Joy-Cons are, are charging now so from this we know that there is some kind of fault on the on this charging circuit of the fan Okay guys, so a few days afterwards I, I received my, my replacement fan, which is a third party Foxconn uh, fan, which fits for a, for a Nintendo Switch. It's important to mention that if you order such a fan, don't forget to remove this, this uh, rubber vibration dampening things from the other one, because as I say online, none of the replacement fans contain this one so it's important to mention just for fun i disassembled the one of the fans the broken faulty fans basically i could measure short between the plus and minus terminal you cannot take it apart without without uh, distra distracting it basically killing it because it's there is a, a plastic part which is molten inside the metal into this metal case here in the middle so you can only only take it apart uh, destru destructively so what it contains a few capacitors here here i remove two of them just to see that maybe they are causing the short but not here's the third capacitor i assume this ic is a brushless motor controller and there is a zero ohm resistor which as I assume works as a fuse basically. And then there are the coils. This is a three phase brushless motors basically. And there is a magnet here in the rotor. And that's it. So let's go back to the to the switch. So let's try to put back this new fan. And let's see if it works now, if it's charging the, con the controllers now. Okay, let me just put back the a few screws. 
Okay, at first I have to put back the fan screw. And it fit, fits perfectly, it's exactly the same size. The cable, cable is exactly the same. So it looks like a really a one-to-one -one replacement. And it was basically not cheap, I ordered it on, on eBay but from, from Germany and it was something like 12 euro, something like this, 11 or 12 euro. And we just put back this few screws just to just to make it possible to test it. Okay, so fan is connected. Let's connect the battery and let's try to turn it on. I will not put back at the moment the, the heat sink because I'm interested in if the fan is turning on. And if it's not put it back, then it's turning on faster for sure. Okay, so let's turn it on. Left Joy-Con is connected, right Joy-Con connected, let's go to the controller mode and let's connect the charger. And as you can see now, it is charging perfectly. Both controllers, let me try in the other way around. And it's also charging this way. So let's see one more thing, the fan itself and the fan is already spinning. Really good. Okay. I will I will remove fast the charger because I don't want it to be turned on for a long time without the heat sink. Let me turn it off. Fan is still, and now it's turned off. So guys, as you can see, as I told at the beginning of the video, due to the reason that charger charging of the Joy-Cons is using basically the same voltage rail like the, the fan itself. And for sure, if the, if the fan is shorting out, then it will pull down the it will pull down the rail and for sure it will not work. The voltage will drop down and charging is not gonna work. So that's all for this video guys. I hope it was helpful for you. I hope you enjoyed this, this video. If, if yes then please don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I hope I see you next time. Bye.